Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Grace and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we want to look at the wonderful words of life. Wonderful works of the word. As we look at St. John chapter 1, verse 1 through verse 5, it says to us, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him, nothing was made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it often considered as the most profound passage in all of scripture the first five verses of John's Gospel. It introduces us to Jesus Christ as the eternal Son of God. The next thing it does, it affirms three great truths concerning Jesus Christ. It talks about his eternity in the beginning the word already existed his personality he was with god and his deity he was god john used the words in a unique way to teach that jesus was the embodiment or the expression Expression of all that is Colossians 1 verse 15 through verse 23 Jesus Christ was with the Father in eternity past St. John 1 and verse 2 as part of the Godhead he was creator St. John 1 and verse 3 he is both the light and life of all humankind. St. John 1 and verse 4. The darkness of the fallen world could not extinguish his light. St. John 1 and verse 5. John's prologue establishes his special interest in showing that Jesus of Nazareth truly was the Son of God. So these opening verses help us to establish the Bible unique teaching that God is Trinity. Genesis 1 verse 26 and verse, sorry, to verse 31. What Jesus taught, what Jesus did, they are both tied together as inseparable, his word and his works, who he is. We see him being portrayed fully as human and fully God. So although Jesus took upon himself full humanity and lived as a man, he never ceased from being the eternal God who always existed, the creator and the sustainer of all things and the source of eternal life 
So this truth is about uh, Jesus and the foundation of all truth. If we cannot or do not believe the basic truth, we will not have enough faith to trust our eternal destiny to him. And John told us this is why he wrote this gospel. He wants to build faith and confidence so that we can believe that Jesus Christ is who he say he is, that he is truly the Son of God. John wrote to believers everywhere, both Jews and non-Jews, meaning Gentiles. As one of Jesus' 12 disciples, John wrote with credibility and the details of an eyewitness. He was with Jesus. So when he presents him as the word, he is speaking about a person, the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. So his book is not just a bio. Oh, I'm writing a bio of him. It is a thematic presentation of Jesus' life. Many in John's original audience had a Greek background. And Greek culture encourages worship of many mythological gods where supernatural characteristics were very important to the Greeks just as genealogy was important to the Jews. John shows that Jesus is not only different from but superior to the gods of mythology. Let us today believe the words John spoke, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and we can believe him for his very words and for his work's sake. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe. It is free. Like, share, also comment, and continue to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.